usually I pride myself a little bit on um, uh, assessing the uh, the general mood, the public mood, um, and uh, the zeitgeist. And um, once or twice, though, I, I, I've got it wrong, and I've been very surprised. And the most surprised is when I got it wrong in 1997, and um, the popular mood rose up very quickly, and uh, the popular wind blew into the most august establishment in the British Isles, Westminster Abbey. Goodbye England Rose, may you ever grow in our hearts, you are the grace that placed itself where lives were torn apart. You called out to your country and you whispered to those in pain, now you belong in heaven and the stars spell out your name and it seems to me that you live your life like a candle in the wind never fading with the sunset when the rain sets in and your footsteps will always fall here along England's greenest hills and your candles burn down The sudden death of uh, Princess Diana was shocking, a young woman cut down in a prime in a car crash. But what was e equally shocking for me was the way that the public mood had changed, certainly seen in the media in the press, because only recent, previously she had been decried as some sort of uh, harlot almost, uh, knocking around with a, uh, a sleazy uh, Egyptian playboy. And, uh, and now suddenly she was deified. It, the, the change was almost overnight. It was astonishing to see and the way the public uh, re responded to the change. Um, and uh, I thought about this and I wondered how it was that uh, this incident, this one incident, uh, could have been uh, grappled so quickly. And uh, this, uh, what was the new phrase called, an outpouring of grief. And I thought about other things that had happened in that year and uh, in some ways it tied it in with a, a Britain under New Labour, uh, Tony Blair, and, uh, and the other things that had happened. And so I made a piece of work about it, using computers for the first time, rather than cutting up my bits and pieces physically. And, uh, and this is what I made. And here it is. Here's a, one of the working studies. But I'll show you a small version which we can hold by the camera. And it was called Britain Today, 1997. And it's a huge piece, again, all my pieces are pretty huge, but this one about 16 foot across. And uh, in the in the centre are flowers piled up in front of Buckingham Palace, which of course they were, although I had to supplement them by going to a local crematorium in Kent. Uh, we'll keep quiet about that. And then the other people uh, seeing here, apart from uh, Princess Diana herself, who, Funnily enough, and nobody notices in front of Buckingham Palace there are two statues, and if you look at the the profile of them, they look remarkably like uh, Diana. They were extraordinary resemblance, something that other people hadn't noticed. I don't think, but it was the Spice Girls. They were, they were that year. They were uh, hauled in to uh, sing uh, at the annual uh, Remembrance Festival of Remembrance on Armistice Day. And saying they, they shall go old, never, never will grow old, and all that. And it was extraordinary to have the, the Spice Girls of all people doing that. And here they are as Barbie dolls, either side and in the middle. And, um, and there's some more Barbie dolls at the bottom. And, uh, but here on the, on, the, on, on the side here is uh, a woman who was a, 
uh, also an outpouring of grief about this woman who was a, a nanny in uh, in in um, Boston, United States, Massachusetts, and she was accused of murdering the child in her care. And there were some sort of strange things about the whole thing. Anyway, she ended up in jail uh, for a life of murder. And the, there, you can see there, the, the British people who came over, supporters came over in huge numbers. And they could see there when the, when the, when the judgment came out, outside the courtroom, shouting and going on like that. There's extraordinary images there. And, uh, and then and on the other side is when the, uh, another judge decided that she wasn't guilty after all and she was let off. Um, there she is. And uh, this is the, there they are. They're all there again, holding up the Union Jack and so on and so forth. And so I, I put the whole thing together in this sort of collage. Buckingham Palace in the background, of course. As for the piece of work I made, uh, I was caught by surprise also myself by in my own work because when I looked at it about a year later, I'd realised I hadn't just made a, a piece I called Britain Today, uh, 1997, but I created like a, a new coat of arms for not just for new labour, but a new coat of arms for this new emotional um, Britain. <laughs> 